Hello again, I'm Jen from Cakey Lulu's and in this video I'm going to be sharing my top tier tips on how to attach your top tier to your prop options sidebar cake separator. Check out my previous video where I showed you how I attach the sidebar separator onto a cake and how to cover the bottom plate in sugar paste to give a seamless finish with the sides. So let's get started. Now I'm using a dummy cake in this video and so I know that when I attach it onto my separator the cake will be completely level. However, if you're using a real cake, then as I mentioned in a previous video, you'll just need to adjust the sidebar before attaching it onto a cake, simply by lifting the top plate and making sure that once the weight of your top tier is on there, the top plate is completely level. So once you're happy that your separator will be level with your cake on top, we need to attach the top tier. Now I like to do this at the venue once I've set up the cake and it's where it's going to be displayed. But of course you can do it before you transport the cake as well if that's what you usually do with a tiered cake. So to attach the top tier, you would just use whatever you normally would with a tiered cake. So ganache, melted chocolate, buttercream, or in this case, I'm going to use royal icing. So all we need to do is spread a thin layer on the top plate and then carefully lifting your top tier, lining it up, push it gently to attach it onto your top plate. So now our top tier is attached to the separator. All we need to do is add some detail along the bottom here just to disguise that top plate. And I'm going to be showing you three different methods today. The first method I'm going to show you is using a simple ribbon in the same colour as my cake. Of course, you can use a contrasting colour if you would like. So all I'm going to do is attach it onto the cake and then gently lower it down and make sure that it is completely disguising the bottom of the tier, but also the top plate. And that's really simple and effective. The next method I'm going to show you is to use a moulded border around the bottom edge of the cake. So I'm going to be using a floral frame from the old piping bag, but you can use any mould that you have or even pipe details on using royal icing. So to attach our border, all we need to do is use some cooled boiled water or edible glue and brush it onto the back of the mould and then carefully lifting it up and lining it up, we're going to place it again slightly lower than the bottom of the cake so that it disguises that plate. And that adds some really pretty detail to your cake. And of course you can use that along the top of your bottom tier as well to disguise the bottom plate if you've just placed it on top of a nice cake. So the final method I'm going to show you is my absolute favourite. Here I've got a four inch dummy tier which I've iced using couture sugar paste and I've used the upside down method to get my nice sharp edges. And while it's still upside down, before trimming the excess paste off, I've added this four inch cake card. So it's the same size as my cake and it's the same depth as the top plate of the separator. And using that as my guide, I trimmed off the excess sugar paste and then when you remove that cake card you're left with a slight lip of extra sugar paste which is what's going to disguise the top plate. So to attach the top tier to the separator I'm using royal icing but again you can use buttercream, ganache or melted chocolate if you prefer and I'm just going to spread a thin layer of it on top of my separator and then carefully lift my top tier and slot it into place, gently securing it. And as you'll see, it's completely disguised the top plate of the separator. And that's why it's my absolute favorite method. It means that I can just have a completely crisp, clean cake without having to use a ribbon or other detailing. But of course you can add those if you want. So all that's left now is to finish the cake off and disguise the sidebar. So join me in my next video where I'll be showing you how I do that. Bye.